There are few sounds more pleasing to an aviation specialist than the quiet hum of a well-maintained aircraft. The subtle noise indicates that propellers and rotors are balanced, plus vibration and noise are minimized, so flight is smooth and peaceful. But the benefits of balancing go beyond what is seen, heard, or felt. A properly balanced propeller or rotor reduces instrument, avionics, and engine wear, helps to prevent catastrophic engine failure, and prolongs aircraft life. Balancing helps ensure that flights are not only smooth, but also safe. Everyone knows that proper balancing and good maintenance takes the right tools, and that's something we take pride in at ACES Systems, creating better aviation maintenance solutions. All products in the ACES Systems family share the common traits of ease of use and versatility. Our products measure engine vibration, noise levels, monitor and trend engine performance, as well as perform dynamic propeller balancing and rotor track and balancing. The ACES Systems Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer is a visionary tool for performing propeller balancing and rotor track and balancing. This tool is easy to use. On-screen instructions step you quickly and easily through balance jobs, so you need little to no training in propeller or rotor balancing. Beyond simple balancing, the Model 2020 offers the advanced feature of full spectral analysis, allowing you to view a wide range of minute frequencies for all rotating components. The Model 2020 also accepts data from two channels simultaneously, allowing you to compare vibration frequencies from two propellers or rotors, facilitating and increasing the accuracy of balancing. The remainder of this video will step through the operation of the Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer. Part 1 will concentrate on balancing. Part 2 will be an overview of how to use the instrument for spectral analysis. This video presents only the basic steps needed to get you up and running. The video cannot replace the detailed information found in your user's manual. Refer to it frequently to help you through the process of performing propeller or rotor balancing. Before beginning, it's important to familiarize yourself with your new equipment. The Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer comes with basic accessories. The Model 2020, a battery charger, a communications cable for connection to a printer or computer, and a user's manual. The Model 2020 Helicopter Balancing Kit includes everything you need to do the job. The optical tracker and the interface, two vibration sensors and two vibration cables, a magnetic pickup and pickup cable, a phototac and phototac cable. Also included are applicable brackets for the airframe and this training video. Now you're ready to begin. To begin, Use the installation location specified by the aircraft maintenance manuals or balance charts. Note that the Model 2020 only recognizes single interrupter logic. Install the magnetic pickup as directed in the maintenance manual or applicable balance chart. Connect the magnetic pickup cable to the magnetic pickup. secure to the airframe, taking care to route the cable away from flight controls. Install the lateral vibration sensor as directed in the maintenance manual or applicable balance chart. Connect the vibration cable to the sensor and secure to the airframe, taking care to route the cable away from the flight controls. Install the vertical vibration sensor as specified by the maintenance manual or applicable balance chart. Connect the vibration cable to the sensor and position away from flight controls. To begin the main rotor track and balance, first turn the analyzer on. Use the up and down arrows to navigate the screen until the selection Main Rotor Track and Balance is highlighted. Press Enter. The screen will display the Main Rotor Track and Balance banner across the top. Select Start a Job by using the up and down arrows and then press Enter. The main rotor setup screen appears. Default values in some fields appear automatically but can be changed to more appropriate data. Enter the name of the aircraft by using the analyzer keypad. Let's say your aircraft is an AS350. The letter A is the second option on the key. Press the key two times rapidly and the letter A appears on the screen. 
wait two seconds, and enter the next letter. In this case, the letter S is also the second option on the key. Press the key two times rapidly and wait two seconds. Proceed until the correct name appears on the screen. If you make a mistake, use the right and left arrow keys to position the cursor to the right of your mistake. Press the clear key and select the correct letter. Use the down arrow to progress to the next field, vertical channel. Note that this entry box has pointed ends. The information for the pointed end boxes cannot be entered from the alphanumeric keys. Instead, use the right and left arrows to navigate to the most appropriate selection. This selection determines which channel the analyzer uses to measure and display the vertical vibration. Repeat this procedure for the next field to determine which channel is used for lateral vibration. Sensor type is selected from a list of applicable sensors. The 991D1 is the standard sensor provided with the Model 2020. Use the right and left arrows to navigate among them and choose the correct sensor. TAC type gives you five options to choose. Use the right and left arrows to pick the appropriate option. For main rotors, mag high is most common. TAC channel corresponds to the TAC input port from the once per rev source used for balance. Navigate using the left and right arrow keys to select the appropriate channel. For blades, use the right and left arrows to navigate and select the number appropriate for the main rotor system. The relative to selection determines the manner in which tracking data is displayed. The selection of average displays the blade track data according to the mean or average position of all blades. The selection of an assigned blade number displays all other blade positions relative to the selected blade. For blade RPM, use the keypad and enter the maximum expected RPM of the rotor system. Toggle for track units and enter either inches or millimeters as your unit of measure. The last field allows you to define six flight conditions under which you may acquire and store run data. Use the keypad and enter flight conditions up to six characters each. After all fields are completed, press the Enter key. A screen appears asking if you'd like to store this new setup. Press F1 to accept and store the setup. The Customer Information screen appears. Entering this information is optional, but providing a customer name is recommended, as it will aid in identification of the job for resuming or reviewing purposes at a later date. Press Enter when finished, or to bypass this screen. The Tracker Selection screen appears. Choose the type of tracking device used with this job. If using an industry standard strobe light, select Strobe and press Enter. If using the ACES System Model 540 Optical Tracker, select Tracker. If using the Model 540 Tracker, press the down arrow to move to the Number of Rotations field. Otherwise, press Enter to continue. Use the keypad to enter the desired number of rotations for acquiring track data. Press the down arrow and progress to the Inches to Blade Tips field. Use the keypad to enter the distance between the tracker's operating location in the cabin and the blade tips. After all fields are completed, press the Enter key to continue. The Main Rotor Equipment Setup screen appears. This screen directs you to install and connect the tack and vibration sensors you specified in the setup. Attach the pickup cable to the tack channel specified in the setup. Connect the lateral vibration cable to the channel specified in the setup. Connect the vertical vibration cable to the channel specified in the setup. Connect the Model 540 tracker cable to the interface. Connect tracker interface to analyzer's AUX-COM port. With connections complete, press Enter to continue. The Start Aircraft screen appears. Start the engine according to flight manual procedures. Press Enter to continue. The Select Aircraft Condition screen appears. This screen is used to keep track of the measurements from various flight conditions defined during setup and to exit the current run when finished acquiring data. Use the up and down arrows on the keypad to select a condition and press Enter. An X preceding the condition name indicates that measurements were taken and stored. The analyzer now displays vibration data. The current and average RPM frequency, IPS, and clock angle are displayed along with a percentage error and averaging indicator. 
When the percentage error reaches its lowest point, press the Enter key on the analyzer. The Review Data screen appears. To retake the data just collected, press the F1 key. To take track data, press the F3 key. To continue to the next step, press Enter.